Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeson from Beauty in the Beasons and I upload every single Tuesday or Sunday, unless it's a holiday. But anyway, today's video, we are doing like a mom hack video. It's nothing like crazy or out of the ordinary, but I have four kids, ages almost eight to two. So I feel like these are just some things that have truly helped me in my life, whether that's recipes that they love or um, organization or just the way that I store certain things to just help me out as a mom and keep my life simple, kind of like a little bit of planning and how I keep our schedule on track, all of that. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and be sure to leave your June video request down below. All right, so the first recipe I'm showing you are these spinach banana chocolate chip muffins. These are my kids' favorite and I love it because not only does it have bananas, but it also has spinach and oats and yummy, healthy ingredients. And I will leave the recipe down in the description box below. They're so, so easy to make. You can make them all in your blender at once, but I had to kind of do it in batches as you'll see since I doubled the recipe since there's so many of us, but even Chris and I love these. So you can use whatever kind of flour you want. I'm using King Arthur gluten-free flour. It's the one-to-one -one blend. So like I said, you can throw all like everything in your blender at one time, but I'm doing the liquid stuff first and then mixing it in with my flour and oat mixture just because I couldn't fit all of it into here without doing that. But again, if you're just making one batch, you should be able to fit everything in here. There's no like specific order, which makes it even easier. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees, and you're gonna bake these for about 20 minutes. Now we're just going to spray our muffin tins. You can use the little wrappers if you want as well. I'm just spraying them um, and bake them, like I said, for about 20 minutes. You'll see I'm also using like the smaller muffin tin. Since I'm doubling the recipe, it makes a ton. And then I'm able to just store them on the counter, but if you're not going to eat them right away, like in my house, they probably last for just like one or two days. If you're not going to eat them right away, you can store them in your fridge. And if you have little, little kids and they see these green muffins and they're like, what the heck, why are these muffins green? You can do something fun, like call them Grinch muffins or, or you can call them Hulk muffins or we've made them for St. Patrick's Day, leprechaun muffins. You just got to make it fun for them. I'm laying down at the compartment. Oh no, I see you only when you're balling. Oh no, I don't even care to dive. I see you in the wild, cause this time I will choose you. All right, so next up, we are making some peanut butter and jellies ahead of time. These are basically an uncrustable. Um, I've tried so many different like uncrustable makers in the past like the metal one But this one I have found works the best So I'm just gonna go ahead and make these ahead of time for the boys lunches Ella's not a big peanut butter and jelly eater either is Evie But you can also make these like if your kid has a nut allergy you can make sun butter sandwiches or 
whatever type of jelly or peanut butter or any kind of nut butter that they like. Um, but these are great because you can just go ahead and freeze them and these ingredients that I'm using, even though we're still using like regular peanut butter and jelly, I'm using Dave's Killer Bread, which is a little bit better for you. And it's not full of tons of crazy preservatives. And just throw them in a bag and freeze them, put them in their lunchbox. By the time it's time for lunch, it'll be thawed out and ready to go. And just makes our mornings run much smoother. Even when school is out for the summer, I see us continuing to make these for the boat or the beach or whatever we're doing. It's great for just like an easy grab and go lunch. Are your kids out of school yet? Ella just finished, she just graduated pre-K. My mama heart can't take it, but the boys are done like mid-June and I'm so ready for summer. I'm just over like the morning run around and the sports and I just want like that like relax feel. Next up is yogurt bark and then I think we're done with like the recipe portion of that's a lie. I have smoothies coming up but if recipes aren't your jam just skip right through. We're going to go into planning and organizing next but if you've been here for a while this has been one of our go-to snacks for the kids for pretty much as long as I can remember. Um, but all you do is take whatever flavor yogurt that you want. I like using the Stonyfield strawberry that's their favorite. And I put a piece of wax paper down and put it on a baking sheet and spread it thin. If you spread it too thick, it's going to be really hard to break. Um, and then also, we just put like some chocolate chips and some fruit on there. But you want to keep the things kind of small, whatever topping you're adding. Because if you have like a huge chunk, say like a full-size blueberry, it's really hard for them to bite into once it's frozen. So I'm just doing some um, chocolate chips and strawberries today. We've done sprinkles in the past. We've done blueberries. Uh, we've done some Nutella spread on top, but this is the one that we're doing today and then you just store it in the freezer It's ready pretty quickly um, and it lasts in the freezer for a few days uh, Like again having four kids it doesn't last for us very long, but it's a great summer treat to eat outside It does get messy, but it's worth it The kids love it and it's an easy way to get some protein and some fruit into them one of the biggest things that helps as a mom or as a parent even for Chris and I is just produce prep because everything is done and ready in the fridge so we can just pull out the bins for you know breakfast or whatever meal we're having or packing lunches it just makes life so much easier I use a thieves fruit and veggie soak for my produce so you can see the water turns like kind of brown and I feel like strawberries are one of the dirtiest fruits so I always like to soak my strawberries. People always ask me how long my produce stays good for and the thing is is that again we go through it really quickly um, but I found that when I use mason jars they stay fresh the longest. Um, and then I also wind up like putting a little, you can put a napkin on the bottom or on the top just to absorb any extra moisture. But I definitely have found that like glass mason jars is the way to go. So next up is smoothies. I realize that this could be like just super common, easy thing, but my kids' favorite smoothies are currently just some spinach with mango banana and then I use coconut water just because it's good for them and it's very hydrating and they can't really taste the difference between that and having water but this is their favorite they love this smoothie and I noticed when I was at Ella's pre-k I was talking to another mom and she's like oh there's just the smoothies are just overwhelming like I never know what to put in it I saw all these crazy recipes online but you can just keep it simple that we usually just do spinach or uh, either mango or berry and then a banana to make it smooth and sweet so don't overthink it and if you do want a recipe that has like all kinds of ingredients in it make sure to check out Jessica Spire she has the best smoothie recipes that have like all different types of recipes depending on like what you're going for um, for example like hydration or just like wellness in general and then this is my smoothie it saves me it's just berries, banana, a scoop of Truvani protein powder, spinach, and coconut water. But anyway, now we're on to our command station. 
and this helps so much as a mom especially if you have kids that can read Carter's always going over here and checking it out I usually keep the lunch menu up top or like any weekly or monthly calendars that the teachers send home um, I go ahead and put right up top there you can put artwork on the side whatever you want but these little strips are from Amazon and this calendar is from Etsy I feel like it was like it was over $150 but it has been the best investment we've used it for years now and one of my favorite things to do is erase the old month and just write down the new month even though I don't want time to go by faster I just enjoy doing it and I like that like Carter goes over and checks it every morning as well a little screen recording here because I share a calendar with Chris so if you go into your iPhone you add something to your calendar you can go ahead and hit add to family calendar so Chris and I can be on the same page it's very helpful and then we also use this little weekly board here um, so on to more planning this is my mom binder I went very in-depth with it before but I basically have a tab for every kid and like kind of like a brain dump how I have like a to buy portion of it um, you know chores all that kind of stuff I keep my little printouts in the back here for Christmas I have like a party planning printout like some stickers that I use for planning just everything in one place right now it's kind of empty since the school year is basically over but this has been really helpful and you can customize it to whatever you may need if you like keep track of your bills I do everything online so I don't really have like papers like that um, just any type of house maintenance, car maintenance. It's just like a binder or like a household binder to keep all of your stuff in one place and to keep you on track. Next up are these little artwork displays and storage. I love these. It took me way too long to buy these and I'm so happy that I did because the kids love displaying their artwork and then you can store other artwork behind it. I do have a big like uh, Tupperware for each kid down in the basement that I keep like their memory books and their journals from the school year but this is great and I just thought it was such a great idea and the kids are again really proud to see their artwork on the wall as soon as you walk in through the garage. Up. this is how we store clothing and shoes so the kids each have their own little shoe bucket downstairs which is easy because it's hidden and they can just pick out what they want which brings me to washing their shoes the only reason I'm putting this in this video is because so many people when I put that I'm washing my shoes on Instagram they're like what you can wash shoes and I'm like wow do people really just like throw their shoes away when they're dirty so anyway I just throw them in the washer I wash them on cool water because one time I washed Carter's Crocs on warm water and it like shrunk his Crocs so I do cool water, just put some soap in and just do like a regular quick cycle, nothing crazy and the shoes come out so nice and they look almost brand new. So I'm bringing back an old hack from our old house. We used to have something like this in our mudroom there and I kind of miss it so I decided to do it for our mudroom here. And it's basically just an over the door storage. You can label it and do like, you know, the days of the week or things like that. But we basically made a spot for each kid. So I'll have like Carter or Tanner or Ella's like recital stuff for Ella or dance class stuff for Ella, um, baseball stuff for practice and for games, t ball stuff. Like it just, it's so much easier to have that kind of stuff down here. If you did want to do it by day, like and your kids are smaller than mine that would work out nicely and I also just put sets and easy clothes like rompers for the girls and then sets for the boys when we're just looking for a quick easy outfit to throw on them in the morning it's definitely helpful they always get themselves dressed after bath and I was noticing that their pajamas were just a mess in their drawer all the time so we decided to take them out and put them into little baskets 
on the side of their dresser and although it's not beautiful looking it's so helpful then i don't care if everything's like unfolded and thrown back in there so this is just an easy little thing that worked for us um, i do the same with bathing suits as well um, and then this i wanted to show you like how i store all the girls accessories because although it looks incredibly extra it has saved us so much time in the morning and it's kept things really organized because i used to just have them like in one lazy susan and they just like would be all over the place and i couldn't find what i was looking for and then downstairs we have like a little area to get ready for stuff downstairs where i keep some hair accessories a downstairs toothbrush and stuff to do the boys hair Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you got some fun little tips or tricks or even like an idea to help you in mom life. But thank you all for watching. I will see you on Sunday.